It is the most established trade event of this nature. It has a 26 year heritage, despite that is constantly reinventing itself, constantly has a fresh appeal and we are now finding that we're starting to pull visitors from other corners of Africa, which is a very exciting trend. Uh, we'll start using that, we'll start leveraging off that and we'll start enhancing that. There's really no, no other place to come and showcase your product where you've got 10 to 12,000 people coming through the show. They can feel, see, touch, taste, feel the experience. It would take you a year to reach that amount of people if you did not exhibit. Coming to Markex is uh, quite an important part of our strategy to interact with our clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And it gives us an opportunity to reach the majority of our clients countrywide because a lot of clients come from outside of Gauteng uh, because it is the biggest show. Uh, for the year in South Africa. You can't afford not to come here. You have to come here if you want to be in the game. Every year we increase our space. I mean this year for example we've actually taken three stands. Um, and why do we return is we get really good quality leads. Um, we often have an opportunity to meet uh, uh, people throughout Africa. And I think the most important, we have a lot of existing clients that come to the show year in, year out. And it's just great to be able to connect with them uh, and to show them new products. So it's a great platform for new products. In the digital age, live media platforms most certainly have a place. Trade shows are all about look, feel, touch, engage with the product, engage with the, the seller, um, experience it. Something that digital and virtual platforms cannot offer. Well, we actually, we were here last year um, because uh, Web Tickets is a digital company which also actually appeals to the events companies as well because we're trying to sell tickets for events in the digital space. So we kind of bridge that world nicely. Marketeers are constantly looking for new trends, new changes in, in, the, in the industry and, and uh, Markex does, they, they produce a, an exciting, vibrant kind of environment where, where marketeers can really get um, and, and get that need fulfilled. Uh, the value for us as an exhibitor at Markex is um, the opportunity to meet customers that possibly do not know about us. Um, showcase our service offering and our product portfolio to a diverse audience of potential clients going forward, um, showing them that uh, what we can do um, on a physical level. So from a value perspective, it brings us clients that we possibly would never have been in contact with before. Personally, we use it as a one-on-one as a -on -one interaction with potential clients and that personal service or personal contact you don't get in any other form of advertising so again imperative to come here well it's it's a gathering of all the main marketing purchasing industry out there and um, we like to be here to make sure that we one of the market leaders like any other promotion any other sort of expo any initiative that you do with your company or your brand you need to plan accordingly so it's upfront planning it's about having the right stand, having the right statement, having the right ability to give people information on hand and also stuff to take away with them. And then it's about the follow through afterwards. How do you follow up with them? How do you make sure you get people's names into a database and be able to communicate effectively with them afterwards and build relationships so they become obviously from first time lookers to then buyers. I believe a mistake exhibitors often make is that they set up shop at an exhibit and then don't communicate. An ex exhibition is a communication forum. So you've got to be there and be willing to talk to everybody and be, you know, interact with other exhibitors, interact with the visitors. You've got to communicate, you've got to be there and interact. You can't have, you can't have a stand and think that's enough. The trade only component at uh, Markex I think is vital to the reseller uh, group of companies within the industry or the market um, as it allows them to interact with the clients that are directly related to this industry um, as opposed to a variety of clients that wouldn't necessarily be part of the business. They, they should try and add as much value as they possibly can to, to, the, um, to, to the visitor. Uh, what we've done here is instead of having a static stand, we've actually got a, a proper speaker's pavilion. So we've extended our product, what our product can do, and then benefits and so on. We, we really try to highlight it through the speaker's pavilion here, um, so that when visitors come, they have a full experience of what we're able to offer, rather than just something stagnant. So I, I think they, the more they can do to add value to the visitors and really get behind what they really need, then the, um, 
the, the better the outcome is going to be for everybody. The one piece of advice I would give any exhibitor is to network. Find the people who, who you should be interacting with and exchange the details and then actually follow up afterwards, build on that relationship. We showcase and capitalize on the experience by sending them information afterwards, following up with um, the, the, the clients that we had communicated with, but also by trying our hardest at the show to blow them away with our um, diverse portfolio of services so that they also remember us so that when we do make contact with them post the show um, they do remember the, the stage the setup the dancers something that was a touch point for them new at 2012 markets we've incorporated the dmma uh, digital media village fantastic uh, new component that is growing in the marketing industry uh, and therefore needs to be represented within the show. We've had a fantastic take up there this year, uh, some really exciting offerings. And then this year when we found out from Fran that they had the, the, the Media Village, it was actually perfect for us. It's also a lot nicer because the, the stand's a bit smaller, it was easier for us to get set up and everything is already done for us. I think the level of professionalism that you see displayed here with various companies, I think every year it just goes up another step. You know, so you're seeing a much more professional approach. I have found more than any other year people asking detailed questions, looking for products, looking for new innovations. Visitors should be checking the website regularly for updates, press releases, identify what features you want to come and see because there is a lot of new stuff, identify which exhibitors you want to be engaging with, ensure that you pre-register for the event so that your entry into the exhibition is as seamless as possible. Markex, I think the great part is that I, I meet everyone from buyers, sellers, you know, service providers. It's like being a kid in a candy store actually. I'm hoping to get a better product offering for my clients. We need things like this to open our eyes to what's available. And, oh no, I'll definitely come back next year. Awesome, awesome show. Um, it's really worked well for us. we back next year. Um, you know we've been here for the last 12 years um, and for us it's, part of, it's an anchor within our marketing strategy.